All right, now we're going to set up our Wacom drawing tablet to work with GIMP. Now I'm going to show you on a PC, and I'm going to walk you through verbally for a Mac. Let's look at the uh, PC side of things. We go to Start. We do Control Panel. In Control Panel, we have Hardware and Sound, and we look for Wacom drawing tablet properties. And under the application, we add GIMP to it. So we just the plus, highlight GIMP, and hit OK. Incidentally, if you are left-handed, which I've had that happen in the past, if you are left-handed, uh, by default, this is what your Wacom drawing tablet looks when you're right-handed. Okay, But you can switch this over uh, by doing... And every time, I forget how to do this. There we go. Perfect. So now, that's for the left-handed people. Now, what's fun is, if you are in a lab that switches from AM and PM, and you go to grab a tablet that in the AM, somebody is left-handed, and in the PM, they are right-handed. Or vice versa. <laughs> because... Then what happens? Uh, every day you have to change this, whether you are the left-handed person or the right-handed person. It's fun. But this is where you change it on a PC. On a Mac, you go to the Apple, look for the Apple in the upper left-hand side. There's an Apple. You click on it. You go to Preferences. Click on that. And then you're going to click on uh, the Weekend Drawing Tablet icon and it's going to pop up with something that looks exactly like this. Alright, so now you've set up your Wacom drawing tablet to work with GIMP. Good job. Let's go on to the next video.